All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from, honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity, and Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, It Doesn't Matter Who the President Is. All right, <laughs> it's going to be entitled, It Doesn't Matter Who the President Is. Now, I got a spot to do this lesson because of evidently the election that happened uh, on Tuesday. As we all know, Donald Trump is the new president of this precious country of the U.S. <laughs> all right. Uh, the elites have selected Donald Trump, just like Apostle Tahar always says. All right. These presidents are not, are not elected. They're selected because as we all know, the elites are the ones that's pulling the strings and they're controlling everything behind the scenes. All right. And they the ones that set up these puppets, which is, you know, Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, and so forth and so on. They set them up, you know, to pretty much play there and do that dirty work. And pretty much to, to, uh, to distract the majority of these people from what's going on, man. And, and to really cause a lot of division. Because that's exactly what's going on right now, man. There's a lot of weird-ass videos that's out here right now, man. You got... Females over here screaming in front of the camera because Donald Trump became president. You got females over here spazzing out, having temper tantrums and and crying and all kind of stuff. And then, of course, the, the, you know the black females they over here blaming blaming black men for not voting for Kamala Harris, and it's just a whole big mess. All right, a lot of these people, true colors, are showing, and we already know that's just nothing but demons. All right, these people are pretty much um coming alive they're showing their true colors and they're really showcasing how they feel about certain things and that's just all by design man because this country have pretty much taught every single person that lives here to be divided nobody here is on one accord at all man but like i said it doesn't matter who the president is because at the end of the day uh even whether it's donald trump or if something happens to him and then another president have to get up in there the only thing they're gonna do is just fill out the orders and they're going to make sure that they help bring in this nwo man and that chip is going to become mandatory very very soon we right here at the door so whoever it is that's in office if it's donald trump he's going to be the one to forward world war three he's going to be the one to forward this nwo he's going to be the one to make sure that people get these chips so forth and so on man it don't matter and the scriptures tell you to not even vote anyway the scriptures tell you if you were to put a king over your people you're supposed to select somebody from your brethren all right and we already know that donald trump and kamala harris is not an israelite they those are not israelites at all man those are heathens but anyway like i said it doesn't matter who the president is donald trump right now is in office so he may finish the job man we may be looking at the last president of the united states and lord willing it is because we can't see this place going going on for another four years it's too many things going on in the world for this place to last any longer all right so let's start with 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. It says, The day of the Lord. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And that's exactly what presidents always do. They always tell you that they're going to make things better. They always tell you we're going to lower in, uh, we're going to make sure inflation is lowered. We're going to make sure that the groceries get lowered. We're going to make sure we do this for your neighborhoods. We're going to make sure that the tax cuts are not as bad and so forth and so on. All right. They're promising you peace and safety. They're telling you everything is going to be okay if you vote for me. But as we already know, these presidents don't do anything because for the past, what, two decades? <laughs> Ain't nothing been changing, man. People could literally say that, oh, when Bill Clinton was in, office, that was in office, that's when things were okay. But the thing is, even when he was in office, man, you Jakes was still out there suffering. Still suffering, still living in the ghetto, still shooting each other up, still being hooked on drugs, so forth and so on. Still receiving the lowest of education, all right? They wasn't looking out for you at all, man. But like it says right here, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden, sudden destruction coming upon them, as you fell upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. That sudden destruction is coming, man. Jacob's trouble is right around the corner. 
There's a lot of people that really believe that World War III is not going to happen, man. There's a lot of people that really believe that this place is not going to crumble. Like the scriptures say, they think that their houses shall continue forever. Speaking about Esau, these so-called white people really think that this place is going to last forever. They think that they're going to be in rulership forever. But the Most High has a different plan for them, man. They going into slavery and two-thirds of our own people, if they don't wake up, they're going to die right here along with them. Verse 4, it says, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Yeah, because we waking up and we're watching and looking out for the prophecies. All right? It says, You are all the children of light and the children of the, of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Because we're hoping that we get saved out of this uh, destruction that's getting ready to happen to America. And it told us to not sleep as do others, because the majority of our people are not really paying attention to what's really going on. All right, they're going with the flow. They're being in the world, and they love being in the world, all right? This is why they spazzing out on in front of the camera and making all these weak ass TikTok videos. <laughs> all right. And letting people know their, their feelings and so forth and so on because they're asleep. They don't know what's going on, man. But we're not going to sleep as do others because we're watching and being sober. We're clear minded and we're paying attention to the prophecies, man. And we're praying to you. How about show me how shine so we can get up out of here, man, because we hate this place. This place is vexing. All right. Let's get Isaiah chapter 30, because this is the majority of these people's spirits right here. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked of my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. A lot of y'all are confused right now, man, because y'all like literally are trusting in these presidents. All right, Egypt means hard bondage. We are literally living in a place where we serve slavery and we still serve slavery to this day. All of us got to go get a job. All of us got to do this work in order to maintain some type of living here. All right, we are literally still in a land where we serve captivity. We are still in captivity. And the majority of our people, they trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right. They trust in what these presidents say. They trust in what these mayors say. And they become a part of these campaigns and they actually listen to what they say. And they just have the utmost hope that they're going to make things better. But guess what? It says right here. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. The things that they promise you. And when you realize that it's never coming true, you're going to be ashamed because you're going to realize like, man, I was trusting in something that's not going to help me progress. I was trusting in something that's not going to give me any type of success. I'm still going to be a nigga in America. And it says, in the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. All right. There's a lot of people confused right now because the majority of the people thought that Kamala Harris was going to get up in there just for the simple fact of the history that Donald Trump had as far as his felonies and him getting arrested and the things that he's been uh, willing to do as far as pushing World War Three and, you know, the borders and so forth and so on, man. A lot of people are like, oh, this would be an easy election. They thought, yeah, Kamala Harris is going to get up in there real easy. <laughs> but, hey, the elites proved y'all wrong. The elites proved y'all wrong. Now, look, a lot of y'all are spazzing now, crying and everything, wondering how come the majority of our people didn't vote for Kamala Harris. You all are confused, man. The scriptures tell you just to trust in the Lord. Take counsel of the Lord. Yeah, how about some y'all was shot? But y'all don't want to do that. Y'all don't want to do that. Here it is. Even if you were in the world, a lot of y'all wasn't even <laughs> praying to Jesus. <laughs> a lot of y'all was getting on y'all knees and hoping, hoping to, you know, hoping to whoever that Kamala's got up, uh, Kamala got up in there, man. Y'all don't even trust in y'all fake idols, man. And this is why the majority of our people got to go. Majority of our people got to go because they literally don't have it all. Let's get to Rock chapter 12. And go to verse 10. It says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as I am rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. 
and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Though he may be in front of your face and smiling and promising you good things and a better future for your, your, for your family, your children, whatever the case may be, he will not get rid of his wickedness. He will not change his spirit. He will not, he would never have a righteous spirit upon him, man, because he's the wicked. It says, never trust thine enemy. All right. The ones that's ruling this country and the one that's ruling this world, they are your enemies, man. Literally. But the majority of you all keep believing in your enemies. You believe everything that they say. You believe everything that they so-called promise. And what, where has that gotten you all? It's y'all still in the same position, still in the same position. And that's why, like I said earlier, it doesn't matter who the president is. Y'all going to really realize that um, neither Donald Trump or whoever may be up in there later on in the future, because something may happen to him. He, they already had like, what, three assassination attempts on him. Something may happen to him in the future, so you never know. But whoever it is that's, that's going to be president moving forward into the future, y'all going to see that these people don't care about y'all, man, especially when Jacob's trouble hits. Y'all going to see that they've been, they're going to continue to push this agenda for the NWO, and as soon as y'all realize that y'all going through it, that's when y'all going to want to start believing in the Lord. And that's when it's going to be too late, man. That's when it's going to be too late. Let's get one last scripture and close it out. Let's get Psalms chapter 9. Go to verse 6. It says, O thou enemy, the structures are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities, their memorial is perished with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the for the oppressed and the refuse in time of trouble in times of trouble. And that's what we are going into. We are literally getting ready to witness Jacob's trouble, man. But he's going to be our protector. He's going to be our refuge in the times of trouble. But the two the two thirds of our people, the ones y'all, the ones that keeps believing in in these presidents and these mayors, you know, that your bosses, your managers and the ones that keep having hope up uh, uh, with them, they're not going to make it, man. The most High is not going to protect them in the times of trouble. Verse 10, it says, And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. All right? So there it is. The ones that know the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and have put their trust in him, those are the ones that the Lord will not forsake. All right? Because those are the ones that are going to continue to seek them in the times of trouble. So right now, man, like I said, it doesn't matter who the president is. It doesn't matter. All we uh, looking forward to is the destruction of this place, and we looking forward to get up out of here, man. So we already know that sooner or later, you know, the, uh, Esau is going to press the button, and he's going to uh, intensify things very, very soon, man. We'll see. It could either be next year, or it could be like the beginning of 2026, because like the apostle said, you know, uh, the average that an empire lasts is 250 years, right? America started in 1776. So when you add 250 years from 1776, that goes into 2026. So 2026 may be the year that this place go down, but you never know because we don't know when the day of the Lord is. That's why I said what we uh, read earlier, the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. And this is why we pray and continue to pray and have faith and believe that way when things go down, we won't be caught off guard, man. So we're gonna continue to put our trust and yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shah? And like I said, it doesn't matter who the president is. They can go ahead and fill out those orders, bring in the NWO, and hey, we looking forward to it, man. We looking forward to it. We can look, looking forward to having faith in our Lord and our power. And Lord willing, we make it up out of here, man. So then the real ruler, Yahweh Shah, can come back and take back what's his. So I hold it edifying. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Rasa I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.